Welcome back to the quarterback film room. Philip Nelson, college quarterback entering the draft. A guy who really, really throws with tremendous anticipation. He has a very quick release of the football. Um, and he's able to really throw to spots on the field. He likes to throw early. He likes to lead receivers down the field, give receivers a chance. We see here him setting up swiftly in the pocket. Mike Martz came away very impressed with Nelson down at the NFLPA Bowl. We go back to a game from 2016, early in the season 2016, against Vodtech in Blacksburg, Virginia. We're going to take a look at a Nelson deep ball here. A couple of deep balls on this particular throw. Nelson does a good job of giving his receiver a chance. There's going to be pressure in his face. Okay, There's going to be pressure in Nelson's face. Nelson's going to be able to get rid of the football, throw the deep ball early, something that not a lot of quarterbacks do. Not a lot of quarterbacks incorporate this into their arsenal, being able to naturally throw deep balls early with touch. Here, Nelson, as, as we see right here, man-to-man -man coverage, he's IDing that. He knows where he's going with the football. Now it's all about getting his lower half in position to throw it. That token fake, there's a guy coming into him, so he can't 100% step in and throw. Still throws a very, very good ball, catchable football. So he clearly understands timing and anticipation throwing down the field. Here we're going to go back to a throw later on in the contest. It's an over route, so a classic concept that a lot of NFL OCs deploy in their uh, offenses here. So it's so it's an over route. They're going to be just uh, beyond the red zone here. Nelson's in the shotgun. They've got an empty five wide receiver set. Virginia Tech is in the middle of the field open pre-snap. Nelson's going to ID that. Um, then he's going to take the snap from the gun. He's going to feel that the middle of the field is open, so he's going to throw it quickly to ensure that he hits that guy in the middle of the field. As we see beautiful Blacksburg, Virginia skyline here coming up here. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Yep, beautiful Blacksburg countryside, Virginia, on an early, late summer uh Afternoon in September there, late summer afternoon, early fall, I should say. But here, Nelson, okay, uh, he's going to come back here. He's going to throw a deep ball. So it's another deep ball he throws. It's just another example of Nelson getting the snap from the gun. Now, he is going to have to adapt to playing under center, something he did with Mike Martz at the NFLPA game. He's going to throw this without a hitch. So he's doing everything right with his feet to throw it early, it's not a great throw, but it is still a pretty darn good throw. Nelson giving his receiver a chance. Common theme with Nelson, he gives his receivers chances to catch the football. He's a generally accurate passer, um, and he's got enough size to garner some sort of an opportunity at the next level. It's, it's, it'll be all about system fit for him. It's going to be all about who does he go to. Does he go to a quarterback-centric, passing game-minded staff who maybe sees themselves in Phillip? In terms of how they played, then he'll he'll have a home. But if he goes to a defensive-minded organization who views the quarterback as a commodity, thinks of him as a one-year starter at East Carolina, they forget about the University of Minnesota, well, then he may have a short life. It's all going to be about does he go to the right situation. 